President Donald Trump is in Vietnam this morning as he continues his 12-day trip in Asia. He's attending the Asia-Pacific Economic Forum. While speaking at the summit, President Trump urged business leaders in the region to help push back against North Korea's nuclear ambitions. The president also said the countries that abide by the rules of the World Trade Organization may partner with the U.S. and those that don't will no longer be tolerated. Russian President Vladimir Putin is also at the summit, but White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said while there is no formal meeting scheduled, it is possible Putin and Trump could bump into each other. Also making this morning's national headlines, comedian Louis C.K. is the latest celebrity facing allegations of sexual harassment. That includes lewd acts in front of women. Last night's premiere of his new film, I Love You Daddy, was canceled in light of the claims. The comedian is promising to issue a statement soon. And Boston scientists studying the brains of deceased football players say the damage to Aaron Hernandez's brain is the worst they've seen in someone so young. The former New England Patriot was diagnosed with stage 3 CTE out of 4, a finding only possible after death. Hernandez hanged himself in prison where he was serving a life sentence for murder. In local court news, the former Billings Clinic nurse who was fired for allegedly stealing narcotics from more than 300 patients now faces charges in federal court. 33-year-old Donald Mills pleaded not guilty in U.S. District Court in Billings on Tuesday to tampering with consumer products and fraudulently acquiring the drug fentanyl. Mills allegedly diverted painkillers meant for patients and replaced it with saline. He reportedly admitted to the crime, saying he was using the powerful drugs to treat his neck and shoulder pain. The Montana Board of Nursing filed a notice in April that it was seeking to strip Mills of his nursing certification. Mills is currently out on bond. On to Crime Watch, the Billings Police Department is asking for the public's help to locate a robbery suspect. The robbery occurred last week at the Grand Casino at 3025 Grand when this man entered the business, brandished a handgun, and demanded money. Police say the man is a white male, about 5 foot 6, with a thin build. He left the business with an undisclosed amount of cash. Anyone with any information is asked to contact Billings Police. The FBI has released information on an alleged gang member who was wanted for trafficking large amounts of drugs in Montana. A federal warrant was issued this week for 48-year-old Frederick Props Lona. Lona has been on the run for the past five years since an indictment was filed. Lona allegedly trafficked large amounts of methamphetamine and cocaine into Montana. He also has ties to two Mexican gangs. Lona is six feet tall, weighs about 250 pounds, and has black hair and brown eyes. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is asked to contact authorities. Now we go to Miles City where a man was hospitalized after a can of spray paint blew up in his hand and ignited a fire at his home. These photos show what firefighters found when they arrived around 11 p.m. Tuesday at the man's home on Highway 59 North in Miles City. The Custer County Fire Warden tells us a man in his 40s was spray painting near a space heater when the combustible can exploded. The man put out the small fire that started and rushed to the hospital. But while he was gone, the fire reignited. The man's sister, who lives in a nearby trailer, reported the fire. By the time crews arrived, the entire home and garage were engulfed in flames. We're told the man's hand will require surgery. The home is considered a total loss. In state news, Governor Steve Bullock announced a new effort to combat opioid overdose in Montana. Under a new law passed by the 2017 legislature, there is now broad access to the opioid overdose reversal drug naloxone. When administered during an overdose, the drug blocks the effects of heroin and opioids, restoring breathing and preventing death. The new law allows trained first responders, public health professionals, and others to carry and administer the drug. Bullock said this new effort will save lives. Too many of our friends, our neighbors, our family members are personally impacted by this opioid epidemic, and too many lives have sadly abruptly ended. Law enforcement representatives say the new law will help tremendously when responding to emergency situations. According to the state, there have been more than 700 deaths from opioid overdose in Montana since 2000, including 15 involving youth under the age of 18.
Now we go west of Helena where the groomers are out, the rentals are waxed, and the Great Divide Ski Area is set to open this weekend for the 2017-2018 ski season. What makes this opening so special? It's the earliest the area has ever opened. Thanks to all the snow in the area, 20 acres are primed and ready to go for skiers this weekend. The first chair takes off at 9.30 Saturday morning. Well, the Christmas season has officially begun in Montana. Many Montanans took part in celebrating the beginning of the U.S. Capitol Christmas Tree's journey this week during the first viewing event. Following the celebration, the tree was felled and placed on the truck and trailer that will transport the tree across the country. The tour has its first stop in Eureka on Monday, where folks can get a look at the Engelman spruce from the Kootenai National Forest that will represent the state of Montana on the lawn of the U.S. Capitol. Viewers in our area can catch the tree on its tour in Glasgow on Friday, November 17th at the Valley Event Center and on Saturday, November 18th in the Albertsons parking lot in Glendive. The tour will end with the tree lighting on December 6th in Washington, D.C. Ed,